When you're climbing the building, you have every emotion, every endorphin, every dopes, dopamine receptor, serotonin receptor, firing at once to optimize the survival. And you're you're hanging there with your with, with, with the tips of your fingers. But once that's all over and you're alive and you can walk the streets as a as a person who is no longer in danger, it's a pretty surreal feeling. It, it's it, I, I couldn't even articulate it. It's like describing a color to a blind person. It's a completely unique. Feeling. And I guess that's what I constantly chase, is that, is that, that feeling, that edge. The climb, so initially when I started, I felt a little drizzle in my arms, which was a bit disconcerting. But I knew I could handle it as long as it didn't get into the downfall. So that was in my back of my mind. Uh, but apart from that, everything was under control. I, you know, I've done these sort of things since 10 years old. I know, I know how to get into that mindset. I know how to not uh, be overwhelmed by fear, but to control it and utilize it and use it to my advantage. And that's, that's what I do every single climb. And uh, that's what I did today. But this one, you know, no matter how easy the technical climbing aspect of it of it is, you can never underestimate the potential for death. So you need it, you know, every climb I treat and focus with with the same level of intensity. Otherwise, you know, it could be fatal. It's, it's, it's never worth a throwaway comment to say that I could die. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a pessimist nor am I an optimist, I'm a realist. I could train all I like, but there's always that little percentage of a chance that I could die. So that's in the back of your mind. But once you're on the building, once you're doing your thing, there's no room for any thoughts like that. It's just you in the moment getting what you have come here to do. Once you come out of that, the feeling is an overwhelming sense of you're through. Thank you.